spent in a miserable way. U.S. News Trump's personal secretary blast leak of the president's private schedule as breach of trust. Trump's personal secretary has blasted the person who leaked the president's private schedule, calling the move a disgraceful breach of trust. Hey? Madeline Westerhout, 28, is also the director of Oval Office Operations and took to Twitter Sunday night to defend the president against a report that revealed Trump spent 60% of the last three months in executive time. Hey? White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders explained that Trump's executive or instruction time was spent in scheduled meetings, events, and calls, adding that there is time to allow for a more creative environment that has helped make him the most productive president in modern history. Eh? What a disgraceful breach of trust to leak schedules, the 28-year-old tweeted. What is that show as Madeleine Westerhout, Trump's personal secretary, tweeted in defense of the president Sunday saying he is working harder for the American people than anyone in recent history. Westerhout called the leak a disgraceful breach of trust Sunday afternoon. Schedules leak to show the preside takes at around 60% of his scheduled time over the past three months in executive time. He is always calling people, talking to people, a senior White House official told the news website. He is always up, Trump is an early riser and usually spends the first five hours of the day in executive time age. Sanders also hit out at critics, saying that Trump had a different leadership style and needed to create a creative environment. President Trump has a different leadership style than his predecessors and the results speak for themselves. Eh? Madeleine Westerhout, 28, is also the director of Oval Office Operations pictured with Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. The preside Trump has ignited a booming economy with lower taxes and higher wages, established the USA as the one producer of oil and gas in the world, remade our judiciary, rebuilt our military, and renegotiated better trade deals. It's indisputable, while the leaked schedule shows Trump in the Oval Office from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., the President is never in the Oval Office during those hours, six sources told. Instead, he and the residents, watching TV, reading the newspapers, tweeting, and phoning aides, members of Congress, friends, administration officials and informal advisors, the news website reported. The President's first meeting of the day is usually around 11 or 11.30 a.m., according to the leaked schedule, and is often an intelligence briefing or 30 minutes with his chief of staff. Since November the 7th, which is the day after the 2018 midterm election, the preside Tahar spent around 297 hours in executive time to access count over 51 private schedules, he also had 77 hours scheduled for meeting PA. President Donald Trump spent 60% of the last three months in executive time, leaked schedules revealed. But caution, not all the president's meetings are reflected on his schedule because they are made of his the most fur of the moment, according to senior White House officials. A. President Trump has a different leadership style than his predecessors and the results speak for themselves. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders told the news website in a statement. While he spends much of his average day in scheduled meetings, events, and calls, there is time to allow for a more creative environment that has helped make him the most productive president in modern history. Former Chief of Staff John Kelly invented executive time because the president hated being locked into a regular schedule and wanted more flexibility. The comments below have not been moderated. By posting your comment you agree to our. Do you want to automatically post your mail online comments to your Facebook timeline? Your comment will be posted to mail online as usual. Do you want to automatically post your mail online comments to your Facebook timeline? Your comment will be posted to mail online as usual. 
we will automatically post your comments and a link to the news story to your Facebook timeline at the same time it is posted on Mail Online. To do this we will, you can choose on each post whether you would like it to be posted to Facebook. Your details for published by Associated Newspapers Limited. Part of the Daily Mail, the Mail on Sunday Metro Media Group.